the horn sounds, and Marshall wins the Conference USA Championship 67-66 to over Western Kentucky. Have you ever seen a Buffalo dance? I've heard long-time play-by-play announcers described as a comfortable pair of slippers. 30, 25, 20, right sideline, Stephen Gilmore. After you're there, that's the only thing you've known. You grew up with this person. Byron Leftwich is being carried by his lineman. They are your guy. And I've always thought that was pretty special. And so as I spent more and more time at Marshall University, I came to appreciate it from that standpoint. I grew up in Northern Michigan originally in a family where nobody paid much attention to sports. And for my seventh birthday, I remember uh, very clearly my family gave me a transistor radio and I'm lying in bed and I came across a Detroit Tigers baseball game. Little did I know that Ernie Harwell, their play-by-play -play announcer, is one of the all-time greats. All I knew at the time was I had no idea what this man was talking about, but I was enthralled. I was fascinated and I never looked back. One of my most memorable times at Marshall University was not at a ball game. It was actually after a big green fundraising coaches tour event. And I had noticed a man standing off to the side with a football and he said, Mr. Cotton, I'd like for you to sign my football, please. But then I looked at the football and it had three signatures on it already. Bob Pruitt, Randy Moss, and Chad Pennington. And I said, uh, sir, do you have anything else I could sign? Because those are three Hall of Famers. If I put my name on there, it's gonna drop the value. It's going to diminish this football. And he said, my greatest memories are traveling around with my friends to Marshall games in those years and all the success Marshall had. And I can't really go to games anymore. And as I think back upon those times, the soundtrack in my head is you calling those games. Marshall is uh, a unique place, and over time, there probably isn't a moment I can look at and say I knew this was my home forever, but I also pretty quickly knew that this was a special place. The fans are great. They accepted me from the start. When all is said and done, you like the wins and losses, but it's the people you went uh, kind of into battle with, you were uh, pulling for as much as any game-winning shot or a touchdown pass. You think about the times you spent with them and the friends you made along the way.